Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Bloom Star Defense 5 Deluxe Edition. In this episode, I'm actually going to revisit the stage that I just played today, so obviously that's why the track is or the treasure chest is already opened. But uh, I recorded this episode earlier with Fraps. I mean not Fraps, um with uh whatchamacallit? Uh with XSplit. And the video kinda messed up, uh the audio got out of sync and um it was just kind of not good, and I didn't want to leave it as just that for the episode for the day. Uh, so, I will try to do this again with only dart monkeys. Um, and of course, I'm having bad uh, let's play etiquette by texting while doing a let's play. Um, but I'm just going to re-record this episode pretty much uh, with dart monkeys this time. And let's see how far I can get. If I don't make it, then that's fine. Um, I'm not going to use a continue because I don't want to spend the monkey money that I won from actually beating this on medium. And I already put up a video of me winning anyway, so uh, this is just kind of to see how far I can actually get uh, with this strategy. Uh, probably not very far. Um, I'm really not confident in uh, the dark monkey's abilities, although. Uh, it is possible, I think. Uh, as far as being able to pop things, uh, they do have enhanced eyesight for um, for camo. And as far as being able to pop lead, the Juggernaut uh, upgrade, which is actually pretty expensive. Uh, I mean, compared to all their other upgrades, I guess, but it's not that expensive. But anyways, um, the Juggernaut upgrade does allow them to pop lead and actually helps pop ceramic, I think is what I remember. Um, so that'll be pretty interesting. But as far as popping Moabs, I think I just need to spam a whole bunch of dart monkeys and give them the triple shot, uh, or triple dart throw thing, uh, in order to, you know, let them have enough attack power or attack speed to beat the Moab. Or uh, I can also give them the Super Monkey Fan Club to uh, turn them into super monkeys temporarily, and that will definitely help with the uh, Moab, but obviously that alone will not be enough because it is an activated ability, so it will not last forever. Uh, but if you have enough super monkeys, or your dart monkeys, uh, with the upgrade, you can make it pretty constant. Uh, obviously, like I said, not entirely constant, but still pretty helpful. Now, uh, while I have these four just to help out uh, getting most of them, I'm going to upgrade this to the Juggernaut. I'll probably try to get two or maybe three uh, Juggernauts uh, just to uh, make sure that I can pop all the lead because it's not 100% accurate and uh, doesn't have the fastest of attack rates. So it's always nice to have a couple uh, just to be sure that you're actually uh, getting it, uh, getting it done. But it is 1575. Now, if I had the specialty building for the Dart Monkeys, that would be helpful because then it, I think, increases their range or maybe attack speed, uh, decreases their cost a little bit, and then uh, every 10 rounds, starting on the first round, it gives you a free Dart Monkey, which is pretty helpful because uh, that kind of adds up by the time you get to round 65 because that's six or maybe seven uh, additional Dart Monkeys. Uh, for free, so that's 1,400 basically the cost that you'd be saving about. Uh, so that's pretty interesting uh, how efficient that is, I guess. So, uh, other than that, uh, not much else to talk about uh, other than just obviously getting the Juggernaut. And the reason why the audio and kind of the video, I guess, uh, messes up a little bit uh, in the other video that I posted today. Um, is because I did technically have my webcam on, and it was recording my webcam, but I put that screen behind the actual video so that I could try to just record my um, my commentary uh, already synced up with the video, so I don't have to go in with sound recorder and uh, I'll leak one. Uh, I'll be fine with that. But, um, so I won't actually have to go through sound recorder uh, to record my audio, but I did, uh, I do notice that, uh, it's still quiet if I do it that way, so that then when the game gets pretty loud, uh, you can't really hear me as well. 
so to kind of combat that, uh, I tried to use the sound recorder just uh, to record my commentary on top of the webcam audio, just to give it a little bit of extra volume. But because of that, um, because I was using the webcam to record the actual webcam video and audio, and sound recorder to record the audio, I think that um, messed with it and made the actual quality of the audio really weird at some points and desynced a little bit. Uh, so I tried to fix it a little bit, but to really fix it, it would take uh, quite a bit more work and uh, editing that I'd rather not have to go through. Um, so instead, I'll just record this other episode uh, to you know help out with that. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, there's no real other point, I guess. I did kind of want to try this challenge. I don't use a cash injection like I said I was going to, um, just because, uh, yeah, I'm already leaking a few lives, and I don't want to spend any monkey money on this. Um, I could, come on, uh, I could probably do this with some monkey money. Uh, like, with, if I had a cash injection, then I could probably beat this uh, no lives lost, or not, probably not no lives lost, but, um, you know, it'd be a little easier if I had a cash injection so I could just uh, put a bunch more dart monkeys down. And that's really the problem uh, with the strategy is that I just don't have enough time, I guess, or enough money to uh, build enough dart monkeys to really spam dart monkeys. Uh, partly also because it's on medium. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I always think like, yeah, that's the end of that train of thought. I'll just stop talking. But I'm like, wait, no, I need to keep talking. <laughs> this is a let's play. Um, but, alright, so I'm going to try to upgrade all of these to the uh, triple darts uh, first, and then uh, continue on building more uh, dart monkeys. And I wish I could get to triple darts before going through the sharp, uh, razor sharp darts and everything, but I suppose it makes sense that I have to go through those first. Uh, and I <laughs> just remembered I was actually going to place a few more uh, juggernauts, but I suppose that's enough, uh, just one for now. Alright, so, like I said, once I get this triple dart, I'll place a couple more uh, triple dart um, monkeys, and then maybe another juggernaut or two after that. Uh, and I really don't think I'm going to survive very long. I could probably make it if I had better tower placement, but, um, yeah, because right now this is 12 darts going out at once, and they each have, like, 4 pierce, I think, so that's about 48 layers. Uh, generally, if it's a large clump, then uh, it's 48 layers that it's getting through. But uh, anyways, with three triple darts, which is 1,100, which actually is pretty cheap. Um, but with now with five triple darts, that's 15 darts being thrown out, which means that if I was to face a Moab right now, I'd be attacking it with um, 15 layers at a time. So that's uh, interesting. It has 200 lives, pretty much, I think. Uh, so that would be pretty difficult, uh, whether or not I'd be able to make it. Probably not. Um, but obviously it's still only round 34, so I've got plenty of time uh, before the actual mob appears. But uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be enough. I'm probably going to need another Juggernaut, just in case, uh, to deal with any uh, clumps or legs. Uh, let's see. And how much does this cost? 25, 30? Uh, that's more expensive than the triple dart. And it's probably giving me less popping power or less poppage, I guess. Uh, this one's 13. Yeah, it's doing alright, I guess. But um, I also should get the Super Monkey Fan Club. That's 8,400. It's really expensive, but I suppose it is probably worth that much uh, because you can turn. 10 or 11, uh, it says convert up to 10 nearby dart monkeys into super monkeys for 15 seconds. I'm not sure if that 10 includes the dart monkey that you're using the ability from, uh, so I'm not sure if it's 10 or 11 super monkeys. Either way, that's still a whole lot of super monkeys, and unfortunately, they have removed the somewhat of a bug that uh, allowed those super monkeys to have triple darts. Because that way, that made it, you know, three times as effective as a regular Super Monkey, which is pretty awesome. But, um, also there's another semi-bug thing that I'm not sure if it's actually a bug or whether or not they removed it. 
where uh, if you have like six or seven um, super or not super monkeys, uh, regular dart monkeys with the super monkey fan club uh, ability, then uh, if they all use their ability, it increases the range of all the super monkeys for some reason, rather than like extending the duration or something. Uh, so that was pretty interesting how that happened, and it's pretty helpful to get uh, like full map coverage with super monkeys. Um, but I don't know exactly uh, if they kept that or if it was a bug or not or anything. All right, so now I've got two juggernauts and or juggernauts <laughs> and uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight uh, triple dart monkeys, which uh, obviously is helpful, but that almost leaked a few lives. Uh, so I'm going to need more, obviously. And they do have pretty good range, but nothing uh, super extraordinary. Alright, and I'm just going to be spamming them all clumped up right here, um, just to get as many uh, darts flying around as much as I can. I should probably start placing them over here where my mouse is, um, just because that's probably a little bit of a better space for them. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to start putting them over here and I'm going to try to clump them together as much as I can. Alright. Let's see, how many can I make? Uh, what's interesting about uh, what's called Boone's Monkey City, which again, I will do a let's play either when they wipe the city or when they uh, release the game publicly, but um, what's interesting about that one is that you have to build buildings um, in order to place towers pretty much. Not like within this game you have to build buildings, but uh, in your city you have to build, um, like I said, buildings in order to place a certain number of a certain tower within this game. So you have to build, say, 10 uh, dart monkey... Mm, I forgot what it's called, but like, I'll just say dart monkey hut. I don't remember what it's actually called. Uh, so 10 of those in order to place 10 uh, dart monkeys here on the actual map, which is a pretty interesting concept, because uh, then it... because then you can't just spam things. You'd have to build a whole bunch of things in your city, which takes up your land, which uh, means that you don't have as much room for things that you actually do need, which is, of course, something I learned the hard way, kind of. Uh, so, yeah, this is interesting, and I think they did kind of update uh, their transformations and pictures and stuff. Uh, not really sure exactly, but yeah. Uh, Alright, so here's the Moab. Let's see if I can make it. I could probably throw down some... Uh, Oh, wow, they actually did make it. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I was thinking I could probably put down some road spikes uh, if I needed to, but apparently I did not need to. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna. Be, this isn't gonna be enough to defeat a Moab. Uh, that's for sure. But hopefully, with some more Dart Monkeys, I might actually be able to do this. I was actually not expecting it to destroy the Moab that quickly or that easily. So with more Dart Monkeys, I mean. Maybe this is possible. Maybe I will beat this uh, on medium with uh, just dart monkeys. That's pretty interesting. I didn't think that was possible. But of course, it's not over yet. So, uh, can't celebrate too early. And uh, I do have triple lives, which will help. Although, uh, you can always check if I lose enough lives. If I lose 100 lives, or uh, 150. So, actually, yeah, that's right. If I get down to 300. That's when it actually counts as me losing, technically, um, because I have triple lives, so I'm only supposed to have 150 lives, but because of that deluxe upgrade, I have uh, 450. And so, if I lose 150 and get down to 300, like I, I just said, um, that's what would actually determine whether or not this strategy works uh, for your own uh, playthrough, if you don't have those upgrades, obviously. Alright, so, uh, something that I don't know if you really heard on the other video because of how messed up it got, uh, but something I should talk about is uh, Terraria uh, should be coming out October 1st, or the new patch should be coming out October 1st. Uh, so that's definitely something I'd like to play, even if I wasn't doing a Let's Play. But I will try to do a Let's Play of it, uh, or, yeah, I guess I will do a Let's Play of it. 
because it was requested, and I know that there are other games that uh, have been requested, and I still need to do Dungeon Defenders uh, for October. And I want to do more Dungeon Defenders, just because I know Dungeon Defenders 2 is going to be coming out uh, somewhat soon. I mean, not, not like within a month soon, but within the next maybe five months at least, uh, I'm guessing. Uh, Blue, uh, not Blue, uh, Dungeon Defenders 2 should be coming out. So I'd obviously like to do a Let's Play of Dungeon Defenders 2, but I'd like to finish my Let's Play of Dungeon Defenders 1, and it's going to take a long time to finish that Let's Play, um, just because I'm only doing it one character a month, which really isn't a good idea. I should probably just keep posting those videos, uh, but obviously that means I have to keep recording those videos, which means it's going to take a long time, and recording, and uploading, and editing, and all that stuff. Um, and I... And whenever someone does request me to play a game, I always do want to play it and get it done and all that, but uh, obviously there's a bunch of games I want to play, and I'm not going to be able to play all the games that I want to, and therefore probably not going to get to all the games you want me to, and all that, uh, which is the problem of being a Let's Player, of promising too much and delivering too little. Um, so, obviously. I hope you do understand that, that there are games that I want to play, and there are games that you want me to play, and I probably don't have enough time for all of either of those. Alright, uh, so with that out of the way, again, this is probably something I should say in an update vlog, but uh, not really sure how many people watch those uh, compared to how many people watch this and or listen to what I'm saying in this uh, game. Alright, so these are a lot of dark monkeys. I'm actually a little bit more confident in the ability of these dart monkeys. I really didn't think I'd be able to uh, to win with just this, but I mean, again, I haven't won yet, but it's looking pretty good considering how well it destroys that uh, that Moab. So this is going to be pretty interesting, and I could use like, a, like a, what's it called, a monkey village to uh, increase their attack rate and their range and stuff, but I don't want to. I'm going to try to use just dart monkeys. Now, if you said just unupgraded dart monkeys, that would be ridiculous, because uh, that would most definitely be impossible. Uh, but again, I don't actually know. That could very well be possible, but uh, I'd have to try that on a different map or uh, another time. I'm not going to do that today, definitely. Um, and I can just keep building these things, because there's so much money uh, that I'm getting, and they don't cost that much. And I should probably start building more on this right side. Uh, I really enjoy just clumping them all together right here, near the beginning, uh, just to get all that popping done right there. Alright, so this is actually going pretty well. Uh, round 60 is coming up, which means that uh, the Moab, or not the Moab, the BFB is coming. And that shall be interesting in uh, how well this defense holds up against it. And I probably should have gotten uh, some Super Monkey Fan Club, but this, like I said, it's doing pretty well right now, so it's a lot more than 10 Dart Muggies. So uh, this should be very interesting. And they have so much more range just because the BFB is so huge. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so. I take back what I said earlier, this is actually a decent strategy. Uh, I mean, obviously I did lose some lives, and uh, so it's not a no life loss strategy. You probably could just use some dart, or not darts, uh, road spikes uh, to help out with that, uh, with the no lives lost and all that. But this is actually very effective. Um, you've got to remember those juggernauts, though. Uh, even if they're not getting necessarily that many. Um, popping, or that many, uh, that high of a pop count is what I'm trying to say, uh, obviously they are helping with the lead, and if you didn't want to use Juggernauts, you could use the, um, uh, what's it called, the Monkey Village with the Monkey Intelligence Bureau, uh, in order to get the upgrade, the Monkey Intelligence Bureau, that lets you pop, uh, lead with darts and other non-explosives. Alright, uh, so that's pretty interesting. What round is this? Uh, round 63? Yes. Uh, Alright, so this is actually going to be pretty interesting, because I need a lot of popping power to get through this. And... 
Hmm, I did lose quite a few because... Oh wow, I actually lost. <laughs> oh wow, uh... Mm, I, I gotta, I gotta use the monkey money and use a continue because this is just too close to not uh, use a continue on. I'm actually gonna make more juggernaut because they have better pierce. Um, and with these large clumps of ceramics, I think that having more juggernauts would be uh, helpful. Although, yikes, oops, nope. Uh, was that enough? Wow. Alright, so I did lose some lives, and obviously I did have to use a continue, so uh, this strategy is not foolproof. Uh, but it is pretty decent. Uh, I'm just doing this on slow-mo to make sure that I have enough time, and obviously now, because I use some road spikes, it's not a 100% only Dart Monkeys uh, run through, and I did have to use a continue, so uh, it's not perfect, but uh, pretty decent, I'd say, on going through without um, using anything else. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. That's pretty intense, uh, or pretty interesting, I guess. Alright, so I should be fine with the rest of this, uh, as far as BFBs and all that. Uh, so I almost did it. I almost beat it with uh, only Dart Monkeys. I probably should have known. I should have thought ahead and uh, placed some more um, Juggernauts or just get a dark, uh, Super Monkey uh, fan club. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And actually, uh, I'm going to sell a couple of these. Please slow this down so I can do this a little bit more effectively uh, because I do want to get a Super Monkey fan club. Come on, almost there. And now, uh, oh, da! Uh, that was a strange sound effect. <laughs> but now I've got a whole bunch of uh, Super Monkeys that are pretty awesome that I probably should have used that instead of putting a bunch of juggernauts, which now I want to try it, <laughs> but nope. Alright, so that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, just waiting for the BFB and they're just destroying it. That is pretty awesome, but I did technically lose and I lost some monkey money because I had to use it, but uh, still, like I said, pretty awesome. Uh, thank you for that suggestion, uh, by the way. Uh, if any of you have suggestions on what tower times I should use, I probably won't use it as my initial uh, like episode. I'll probably throw that in as like an extra episode or something. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.